hello hello so good to see everybody again this is tony and i'm here with another but you know kind of simple hair video um i was actually in the midst of doing my hair this was live and i realized that um i saw my texture and i was like you know what let me share this um as well as update you guys on a lot of things i need to make so many videos it's not even a game this is just pure blessing that i'm actually making this so um, I just shampooed my hair after it being in box braids. I had took the box braids out. I wore it in a braid out for maybe two, three days. Everybody loved it. It was super huge. It was super bouncy and flowy and light and all that good stuff. And I actually used hair grease to braid the sections after I shampooed and I trimmed my ends. So this time around, I realized my hair was much softer after using hair grease. Now I know as being a natural, we want to be as careful as we can and a lot of people don't want to use what they use when they had a relaxer. But truth be told, grease is good, okay? If it's used in proportion now, everyone's hair varies. I have no special hair type. I would probably have regular black African American hair. Um, as far as for different hair textures, that varies. but nothing special as I'm saying um I can just show you the grease that I did use when I braided my hair um not much I was doing a video I'll start it over though it's okay it's okay it's okay um but this um blue magic castor oil that's actually my mom's um and I was iffy, like I said, on grease, but I used it. So here's what I wanted to show you guys. Very, very small, but I hope you guys can see it. I dimmed almost all the lights. Um, but I don't know if you guys ever saw it before. I'm trying to move everything. Okay, get as close as I can. This is my hair texture. Um, this is how it is all over. Um, I've, from learning and understanding, your real hair texture is seen mostly behind your ears. I'm um, trying to get closer. My hair coils at the end. Hold on, let me move this into shot. It coils at the end. I don't have an S curl. I have a zigzag curl. I am 3C4A. So I'm borderline of extremely nappy, but I still have a little wave. But yeah, this is... um. A zigzag curl this is what it looks like I'm trying to get it clear okay hold on. that wasn't as clear there you go zigzag curl you know boing I have the springiness um I'll take you guys through what I did and what I used I can't stand the shampoo like I said I am broke I'm on a budget I use head and shoulders um I believe it has zinc in it no does it yeah it does and it gets in my eyes guys and it burns but that's okay. I'm working. And what I actually do is I don't shampoo all my hair because I frizz and I tangle. So I'll take a section like this. And if it's, if my hair was wet, I would put the shampoo on my hand. Like, you know, I'm trying to show you guys. Put a little bit on my hand and go directly in. And I'll do this. And I wash like this. And I scrub and I scrub. And that's what I did. Now... I am detangling. I pretty much detangled this. I'm using this wide tooth comb. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I got my favorite brush with me. That This brush I got from the dollar store. But let me tell you guys, it works. It works fabulous. Okay, so I'm done. Um, one thing about being natural. I recently, this is my third year being natural. I didn't have a big chop. I transitioned. I transitioned for about four months um but i had a lot of new growth uh, at the time for my relaxer um, i'm putting on some heat protector because i am going to blow dry the reason i blow dry and i do it very lightly is because i want to avoid as many tangles when my hair was shorter i could air dry after a wash and go but now that i have much more length i have to avoid as much kinks tangles and hair falling out and all that good stuff not that it falls out but just <laughs> shedding this is after, you know, my hair being in braids. And I mean, it happens. I get used to it. But here, now you guys can see even better. Because I put a little moisture on it. There you go. See that? Alright. That's my hair texture. And you can even see it more over here. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is blow dry. I'm going to show you guys how I blow dry. 
Um, I was putting it on medium for some of this portion, but I realized that it was getting a little too dry. So I'm going to put it on low. Hope you guys can hear me. And just watch. I hold it straight out. And I just go up and down. Nice. of holding it is natural hair takes shape so if we hold it out and dry it it's going to fall just as we did and that makes detangling a lot easier this is a brush that i'm using um i bought it from the dollar store like i said this is my buddy i have something close to the denman brush that's if people are curious of how it works for my hair so much i don't really like it these bristles are just they're straight and they're ballpoint and I'm able to lay my hair in my hand and just, you know, this brush is by Conair and you can get it at a beauty supply store. It's like an imitation Denman. I don't really like it. My sister bought it for her hair because she has weaves. Um, it's not really my favorite. Actually, if I was to use a gel and then brush to get like a kind of wave thing going on, then that works really nice. But other than that, no. So now I'm using this old school Apex pressing oil. I have a lot of grease options, but I just chose to use this one because it's pretty soft and it melts right in my hand. So, okay, I put it all on. This is like so old school. <laughs> but when I take these braids out, tomorrow's Monday, and I'm going to probably have it in another video. A lot of the things I've been learning about the word and how the spirit's been leading me to a lot of new knowledge and um i want to change a lot of things on my page um but it's gonna happen gradually it won't all happen at once but i just separated my hair just to show you guys i'm just gonna put some grease on that section listen here natural sisters um i looked it up a while back about the whole grease and the clogging the pores thing and it's not scientifically proven to clog our pores Think about it, back in the day, people used Vaseline and most petroleum-based moisturizers on their skin. So if it clogged the pores, it would have been reported and most people would have been had some sort of irritation. Petroleum has been a product for the longest. Now, in moderation, yes, you don't want to, you know, um, suffocate the scalp area. But as far as for it really clogging the pores, I don't know. Um, just combing out the ends. I would show you guys some some growth and different things like that, but at this point, no. So what I'm going to do now, hold on. I put some grease there. Let me put some on other parts. And um, like I said, third year natural. Your hair gets trained. It gets used to um, taking its shape, getting out of its shape, getting wet, getting dried, um, shrinkage, non-shrinkage. Um, it does take a while. It is very frustrating, but... Be encouraged if you just go natural or you're transitioning or you are natural and you're still looking for some different tips and insight. Our hair was made this way and you know we didn't, our creator had no mistakes in who he gave their hair texture or whatever and um, I've never been happy with my hair and I encourage people to continue on in their natural journey or if they're choosing to go natural to go through with it. And mind you, we can have straight hair if we want it to. We can have it straightened, but, you know, for if you're like me, we try to stay away from the heat. But, yep, that's what I did. Braided all the way down. And um, I did this all around my head. I'm going to probably take it out Monday night. Or I could take it out Tuesday morning for school and have a braid out. And just put it up in a ponytail. Now... With my hair type, I get a lot of treetops. Treetops is my new word for them. 
wear and I'll show you in a second you probably already could tell this is a tree top um depending on the section of hair it'll braid down to the end um where's one this one went down just a little bit farther it's a smaller tree top but I do get them you know you hold it that way it looks like a tree but yeah um I do get them don't mind it I mean if you want to you can brush the ends this brush would be good for this brush right here would be good for really getting the ends to get them straight so you won't have a tree top but I don't mind them they're just temporarily there and if anything it takes off the stress the manipulation of my ends so this is me trying to separate my hair this section is pretty much dry it dried a little bit because I was trying to look for um, the stuff to make this video but um here it is I parted it already there you go and right now I'm just gonna take the a little bit of grease I'm gonna go right across in that section and um, the reason I'm going back to using grease is because I'm on a budget <laughs> Secondly, it worked when my mom did my hair and I always had long hair. So like I said about the whole clogging the pores thing and hold on, I'm putting grease on my hands and I'm not even, I didn't even blow dry it out. It's pretty much dry though, but this stuff, um, this heat protector that I'm using is by Beyond the Zone and it moisturizes it. It makes it like wet all over again. So just in case you are blow drying section by section and it starts to dry, you have something where it could like wake it up again. So yep, that's what it's doing right now. Then I have this last section in the back. Whenever you're working with your hair, always have scissors nearby. Um, a lot of people get knots. Don't let them intimidate you, especially if you're just going natural they happen it happens to everybody even people with straight hair get not so you know it, it's not you know my hair is horrible it's like the nappy's hair or anything you know don't think those things like oh how can i avoid it one way to avoid it is brushing your brush has a lot to do with your knots um i don't know how these brushes work or the denman brush but i mean some people i've heard complaints you know and before I, my sister i'm gonna start from the back up and um just really quick you know make a little poofy and then just go from there start from the ends and then go hold on a second I'm in here I hear you coming okay now this is a thick section so I'm gonna do this again separate it again turn this way now um, I'm one who was not all about the style I'm more of a hair care and growth girl so I don't have much videos on style I don't have even myself I wear box braids in a heartbeat just because it grows your hair it's low maintenance for the people who are busy for the people who work um, this is what I was trying to say before, the grease in your hair will keep it moisturized while it's in your braids or whatever you do, mostly braids I use it for, and it should be used for. Also if it's on your scalp, it, it keeps your, your scalp at least moisturized, it keeps it away from the whole dry and itchiness. And I mean, some people don't like to use it, but I'm using it. It didn't stop my hair from growing yet, if anything my hair is so long. I don't even know what to do sometimes. Okay, I'm combing through. Yeah, I'm done now. So this video was long, but it's worth a lot of the things I'm saying. Um, I know I've had videos up here a while already. Now, I'm gonna add my grease. I've had videos up here a while already. But um, if just in case someone's tuning in and you know they're watching this video or whatever, you could hear some of the history and some of the future things and present things that are going up going on all right I'm gonna part this section again in half right in half make sure you see oopsie I'm out of camera make sure you guys hold on see it okay there we go it's so funny trying to look at yourself to make sure you're in range and then trying to get in range it's funny okay now there's no school tomorrow Christopher Columbus Day but to their children, 
of the Most High, and it's actually the Day of Atonement. We Christians gotta read our word. Like I said, I got a video for that. <laughs>